theorem let s from d to x be a net in a topological space and let small x be a point of that space then x is a cluster point of s if and only if there exists a subnet of s which converges to small x in the space capital x for the proof let us first suppose that d from e to x is a subnet of the given net s and that t converges to the point small x let the function n from e to d be the function given in the definition of a subnet now we need to prove that this point x is a cluster point of the net s for this let us consider an arbitrary neighborhood of the point small x let u be any neighborhood of the point small x and let us consider an arbitrary element say m1 of the directed set d using the definition of subnet and since m1 is an arbitrary point of d we can say that there exists some p element of e such that for all m element of e m follows p implies n of m follows m1 also since the subnet t converges to the point x and since u is a neighborhood of the point small x there will exist some q element of the directed set corresponding to this convergent net t that is the directed set e such that for all m element of e m follows q will imply that its image t of m belongs to the neighborhood u that is s composition n of the point m belongs to u since from the definition of subnet we know that t is equal to s composition n. now we have two elements p and q from the directed set e so there will exist some element say m from the directed set e such that m follows p and m follows q now let small n be the image of this small m under the function capital n that is let us assume that small n is equal to capital n of m but we know that s composition n of this small m belongs to u that is s of n of m belongs to u so we can replace this n of m by small letter n then we will get s of small n is a member of u that is we have obtained that s of n is a member of u and we have also observed that n of m follows m1 that is our small n follows m1 thus we have found that s of n belongs to u and small n follows m1 thus we can see that for any neighborhood u of the point x and for any m1 element of d there exists n element of d such that n follows m1 and s of n element of the neighborhood u this is the requirement of a cluster point so we can conclude that x is a cluster point of the net s thus we have proved that whenever there exists a subnet of s converging to the point small x the point small x will be a cluster point of the net s conversely suppose that the point x is a cluster point of the net s we need to show that there exists a subnet of s converging to this point small x so we will need to construct a suitable subnet of s we construct a subnet t of s as follows let nx 
be the neighborhood system of the point small x in the space capital X. And let follows denote the given binary relation on the directed set D. That is D is the directed set corresponding to the net S. So there exists a binary relation on D and we are going to represent that binary relation using the notation follows greater than or equal to. Now we are going to construct another directed set say E. We define E to be the set containing all ordered pairs of the form NU element of D cross NX such that SN element of U. To make this E into a directed set we will need to define a suitable binary relation here. Let us consider two arbitrary elements say NU and MV ordered pairs from E and we let NU follows MV to mean that N follows M and U subset of V. We first claim that this binary relation makes our set E a directed set. It is easy to observe that since M follows M and V is a subset of V itself, MV will follow the ordered pair MV itself. Therefore, this new relation is reflexive. If NU follows MV and MV follows another element say PW then using the definition of this new relation we have N follows M U subset of V and from this relation we have M follows P and V is contained in W. Combining these two that is N follows M and M follows P we will get N follows P since this relation is from the directed set D and it is transitive. Also we can see that U subset of V and V subset of W will imply that U is contained in W and this implies that the ordered pair NU follows ordered pair PW. Therefore this relation is transitive as well. Now to prove the third axiom let us consider N, U and M, V from the set E. And this implies that both N and M are members of the directed set D. U and V are neighborhoods of X. And that S N element of U and S M element of V. Using the definition of E. Now since both M and N are members of D, there will exist some P element of D such that P follows both M and N. Also, since U and V are neighborhoods of X, W equal to U intersection V is also a neighborhood of X. But we know that X is a cluster point of, of the net S. And here we have a neighborhood W of X, a particular point P of D. Using the definition of cluster, we can find a Q such that Q follows P and S of Q belongs to the neighborhood W. Since P follows M and P follows N, we can see that Q will follow both M and N. Also, it is easy to observe that W is a subset of both U and V. Therefore, ordered pair QW will belong to E since Q element of D, W is a neighborhood of X and SQ element of W. And we can observe that ordered pair QW will follow ordered pair NU since Q follows N and W is contained in U. Similarly, the ordered pair QW will follow 
ordered pair M V since Q follows M and W is contained in V. Thus, corresponding to any two elements, ordered pairs N U and M V of the set E, there exists a third element, ordered pair Q W, such that ordered pair Q W follows both N U and M V. Thus, we have proved the third axiom of a directed set. Hence, we can conclude that E together with follows relation forms a directed set. Now, let us define T from E to X by the definition T of ordered pair N U is equal to S of N for every ordered pair N U element of the directed set E. Then, since E is a directed set, T will be a net in the space X. And actually, this T will be a subnet of S because if we define the function N from E to D by N of ordered pair N U equal to N, we can see that both the conditions of the definition of subnet are satisfied. That is, from the definition of T itself, it is easy to observe that T of N U is equal to S composition N of N U, where N and U are arbitrary, which will imply that T is equal to S composition N as required. And similarly, we can prove that for any n element of D, we can let P is equal to ordered pair Nx and we can see that this will be an element of E since n element of D, X will be a neighborhood of X and Sn will be a member of X obviously. So, the ordered pair Nx will be a member of E and we can observe that for every mv element of E such that ordered pair mv follows nx, m will follow n and hence n of mv which is defined as m will follow n in D. These two conditions imply that T is a subnet of S as required. Now it remains to show that this subnet satisfies our desired condition that is we need to verify that this subnet t converges to the point x for this let g be a given neighborhood of x in capital x but we are given that x is a cluster point of the net s let n be an element of d such that s an element of g then the ordered pair ng will belong to E. Now, for any mu element of E, mu follows ng implies that T of mu which is defined as Sm and since the ordered pair mu belongs to E, we know that this element Sm will be a member of the neighborhood U and the relation ordered pair mu follows ordered pair ng implies that U is contained in G. So, we have U is contained in G and this implies that T converges to X. Thus, we have proved the existence of a subnet of S which converges to the point X. This completes our proof.